hello friends welcome back to the tutorial form validation using javascript uh, till now in the uh, in this tutorial series we have seen how we can validate different form elements using javascript from uh, this tutorial we will start uh, creating a whole script to validate a mm, complete form this is an example sign up form uh, it has two text input fields one email field two password fields one select element uh, one checkbox and one button and from this tutorial we'll see how we can create a advanced uh, javascript that will validate a complete form this is the code uh, for the form and here i have the i have all the functions that we have created in our uh, last tutorials uh, in the first tutorial uh, or in the maybe in second tutorial i have shown you how we can validate the uh, empty fields and if there is an empty field we can alert the user and here i have given that function a name check empty field then we have uh, created a function to validate uh, or to check the format of the given email address and this is the function and then we have created a function to uh, help the users to create a strong password this is the function validate password function and then we have created a function to confirm uh, that the passwords entered in uh, two fields that is the password field and confirm password fields are equal then we have created uh, two more functions to first is to validate the checkbox that the user has checked uh, the box or not then we have uh, seen how we can create a um, function to validate the select element to see or to make sure that the user has selected a uh, an option from the list mm, so here i have all the functions that we have created in the last tutorials <laughs> till now in the tutorial uh, we have written all our javascript code in the same html uh, html file using the script tag in the head section uh, from this tutorial we will write our javascript course in an external file um, as you can see i have uh, written all the functions in an external file and uh, saved it with a name form validation dot js dot js is the file extension for the javascript file now let's attach all these functions to the input fields as we have seen in the last tutorials to validate an input field we have to attach the functions to the input fields but before attaching the functions as we are writing our javascript code in the external file first we need to attach oh, the javascript file to the uh, html file so uh, we'll attach a mm, javascript file to the html file using the same script tag but uh, in the script tag we'll just uh, write its source source is uh, the name of the file form validation dot js so the browser downloads the script file and attach it to the html file close the script tag here like this now save it now let's attach all mm, those functions to our input elements let's first attach the check empty function check empty which will make sure that the user mm, mm, user does not left 
the uh, field empty I check empty oh sorry uh, we have to write the DOM event which is the on blur event as we have seen in our last tutorials on blur is equal to the function name check empty and then pass the ID of the field which is name now let's save this uh, we have attached the check empty function to our first field name field mm. now let's preview it refresh the page now as you can see uh, as the field is empty uh, it is giving a message you can't leave this empty okay like this uh, we have to attach all the functions all these functions to uh, their respective fields so I'll just pause the video and I'll attach um, all the functions to their respective fields and we'll continue then we'll con so friends uh, I have uh, completed that work uh, I've attached all the functions um, to their respective fields let's see what I have done now mm, as we have seen mm, in the first input field I have attached the check empty function which is the text input field name and for the second field which is the username I have attached the check empty uh, function and then the email for the email field we want uh, two functions first the check empty function to make sure that the uh, the field is not empty then uh, we want the validate email function to validate the format of the email id next is the password field for the password field we want uh, two functions first is the check empty function then is the validate password function on the same on blur event now next is the confirm password field in the confirm password field also we want two functions first is the check empty function then is the confirm password function this then we have a uh, select element for the select element uh, we have a function to validate the select element called validate select and as I have sh shown you in the last tutorial we are using it on uh, on change DOM event next we have a checkbox and to validate that we have a function called validate checkbox and here also we are using the on change event so uh, it completes the work we have attached all the functions to their respective fields now save it and let's refresh the page and see what it does <coughs> now let's see now as the field is empty it will give an error you can't leave this empty ok for all the fields similarly you can't leave this empty you can't leave this empty and user email id is invalid then for password also you can't leave this empty then the password format then you can't leave this empty then please select your country then you must agree to proceed ok now let's enter some information in the form Rais then my username Rais then to check the our validate email function I have written some random letters here now see 
please enter a valid email id as it is not matching with the format so and uh, we have to enter an invalid email id now let's see the password function the password must be of combination of uppercase format as the entered password is not matching so let's enter now confirm password so the um, passwords are not matching so please enter same password in both the fields ok let's enter the same password here also now as the passwords are matching no message and then and yeah so uh, there is no error in the information given by given so it will know there is no uh, um, message so uh, this completes our attachments of functions to uh, their respective fields uh, we'll leave the tutorial here in the next tutorial um, we'll see how we can create or how we can uh, directly display the error message below the uh, input respect to input fields um, uh, we'll see how we can create that function uh, we'll display the error message directly below this input field till now we are using the alert box but from next tutorial uh, we'll see how we can create that function to display a uh, error message directly below the input field so thank you for watching uh, we'll meet in the next tutorial please subscribe to my channel and also comment below the uh, videos and also share my videos and give a thumbs up if you like the video and if you have any suggestions for the improvements uh, please comment and uh, thank you for watching so we will meet in the next tutorial